Hey guys, I'm here to do Libra. Hi Libra. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did pull five cards for you. We're going to go ahead and get right into your read. Okay, Libra, I don't know who this is and your energy now. Either this is you or this is some very strange person or people or whoever this is. I don't know who this is. Ooh, Libra. All right, let's see what's going on here. I do have these because I feel like, I feel, I don't know what this is. It just seems like there's this really chaotic energy that surrounds you guys. <sighs> All right, Libra. Yeah. I know sometimes with Libras, the ones that I've dealt with, right? <laughs> sometimes it takes them, I don't know. I just think the way everybody thinks is different. So we need to take that into consideration, right? Um... I don't know if you respond to things once they've gotten out of hand or you don't check people until they've gotten out of hand or in some cases, I feel like some of you guys need to check somebody faster. The cards are saying here though, I don't know what's going on with you Libra. Some of you guys are off your game. This is Aries Leo Sagittarius energy coming up. Some of you guys have something where you are off your game. Like you're usually on it, on top, confident, right? And for some of you guys, it feels like you may have fallen on your face. Now, this is either your energy or this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Somebody could be falling on their face with you because they ain't coming at you right. Or they have this energy that is like uninviting or something like that. For some of you guys, this person here could be bullying you. All right. This Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy could be bullying you. This energy could be holding something over your head. I just get this energy chaos i dare you not and it's like usually i'd be able to handle this but i'm not sure what it is i feel like libra it's more of a this thing I, do i truly understand what the situation is because i feel like for some of you guys and i'm like this also i need to make sure i understand the situation before i can before i can fully strike back or understand whether or not it's even worth me striking back so i feel like you guys have this energy here either you're bullying somebody or somebody's bullying you now somebody could be holding back from you, Libra, because they feel threatened by you, all right? So we have that coming up also. Uh, for some of you guys here, you could be dealing with this energy. Remember I was telling you about this bully with this King of Wands reversed here? If not your energy, there's somebody else here. They are bullying you. This person has issues with the law. For some of you guys, because this person has issues with the law, like if you're in a relationship with this person or something like that, they may have some issues moving, meaning they're, they're mobile. They can't move whatever that's about. I mean, ankle bracelet kind of thing, like one of them things or something like that, or a court date coming up. I can't really move something like that. There's something that's holding this person back. Now, for some of you guys, you may have been a bully or like I said, somebody could have bullied you, but I feel like this might be somebody else here. This is drama king that comes up and people are not feeling this drama king, this Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. I will tell you this, this person, if you guys don't know who this is, this person was once loved. That's exactly, like for real, right? It says this person was once loved. So I feel like somebody who was once loved in your life is maybe turned into a bully or something like that. We do have this Pisces energy that comes up. This one I want to talk to you guys about because for some of you guys, yes, you are in a state of limbo. For some of you guys, you are getting a new perspective on a situation. Could have to do with this King of Wands here that is reversed, Right? For some of you guys, you're in a state of limbo, but you're also safe and happy and you're knowing about something. You guys know something. This is like Neptune energy, right? For some of you guys, you're waiting for salvation. You are waiting, in some cases, you're either waiting to make a decision or you are waiting for somebody to make a decision. Now, for some of you guys, this can be looked at two ways. So you are waiting to get a new perspective on something, waiting for something to come out, waiting for something to be confirmed, or simply, for some of you guys, you could be awaiting trial or you could be awaiting some kind of court decision, some sort of decision hanging over your head, which also leads back to making you immobile in a sense. That could be this King of Wands again, or this could be you and this energy. Now, I see something here, and this is what I want to point out to you guys with this card. Now, some of you guys have to go back. There's something here about a memory. Some of you guys are safe in your decision of knowing something. There's something here where you gain some kind of insight about a situation. You gained a new perspective, but it also says you are either, you did something in an altered state and you're starting to remember it. Some of you guys have this memory coming back. This memory could be with a Pisces here. You were in an altered state 
when this happened to you. This could be confirmation for somebody. You weren't, you out of your mind. I don't know how here, you know, when I actually do the research on it, there's somebody out there who could have did drugs, hallucinogens. Somebody could not see some opportunities at a distance, but I feel like because you've isolated a little bit or now you're in limbo, you know, land and water type of thing, I feel like some of you guys are going to understand that there's some new opportunity that comes to you, Libra, but you get the idea or you start to understand it from a distance, meaning I've withdrawn my situation, myself from this situation, and I choose to look at it for what it is and I see what are my opportunities here. So I can't go that way, I can go this way, something like that. But for some of you guys, you made some decision and you were in an altered state or to be honest with you, when I read the text, I will tell you somebody did something in an altered state that you remember could have been a Pisces. For some of you guys, you witnessed somebody doing something in an altered state. That was really what I got from it at first. Now, we do have the two of wands that comes up for you guys. Now, for some of you guys, you may feel some sense of power because you have this information. Because there's something that you know. You're comfortable and you're knowing. So for some of you guys, it could have been a period of time where you were down for a little while, right? Maybe, you're, maybe your mood was going down. Maybe you weren't feeling well. Maybe you weren't like, I don't know, as active or full of life as you normally are. But I feel like for some of you guys here, you're still in a preparation stage where you're getting ready for something. But most of you have gained a new perspective and you are now ready for new challenges that come your way. These challenges are going to bring potential, right? So it's going to make you enter into realms that you've never been before. You're going to get some kind of information. It's going to spark your interest somewhere. It's going to make you do something. For some of you guys, you are going to end up collaborating with somebody else. This could be Aries Leo Sagittarius energy again. You guys could be collaborating with. There's something about collaborating with others to gain success. Now, some of you Libra could have collaborated with a Pisces here to get something done. But some of you guys, this Pisces helped you, Libra, reach out to these international connections. Mm -hmm. So you could seize opportunities for financial gain. It was not only going to be financial, it was also going to be networking. You know, all the bells and whistles that come along with enterprise business. So there's something where you guys were hoping to seize an opportunity. Now, this opportunity presented to you, I believe it brought you great joy. I do see that here. Some of you guys wanted to move forward with a marriage, something with children. Maybe you guys were going to have reunions. I feel like this opportunity was going to open up a lot of doors for travel, you know, good health support, good support system, something like that. But it was fulfillment of all things. You guys were grateful for life because you got this opportunity. But this is also a 10, so it's also the end of a cycle. There's this positive energy that is going to flow. Now, like I said before, I feel like some of you guys go from being bullied to not being bullied anymore. You feel joy. You feel happiness. But there's something here where you start to collaborate with other people. And after that, once you get this instant joy from collaborating or something like that, we have this Knight of Swords energy that comes in. This is a battle of false heroics. I don't know. I mean, you guys start off with the King of Wands as somebody bullying you. And then when you go into the Knight of Wands here, is that the Knight? No, that's the Knight of Swords. When you go into the Knight of Swords energy, this person or your energy becomes violent. So I don't know if somebody did the okie doke on you or if you were having second thoughts or in limbo about this King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. For some of you guys, I don't know why this person or this idea gave you some kind of, I don't know, a sense of power. But it also says a sense of a sense of downness too. So I feel like it was you're good for this, but you make me feel that way. I feel like this was a balancing type of thing. But it also says that you are thinking about collaborating with others to gain success, looking at international opportunities. You were happy to seize the opportunities. I could tell this made you happy because I don't know if you guys thought, yeah, this is a great deal. At the end of the day, what it boils down to is what comes up. Is this Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, energy? Huh. Knight of Swords. Battle of False Heroics. Somebody loves drama. Somebody is in the middle of this, this energy here. I don't know who this is. It's definitely an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This person manipulates other people and they do it from the sidelines. They would rather, you know, start a whole bunch of mess and then run off. You know how people do, right? 
So it says something about unnecessary conflict. I feel like somebody's trying to get in the way of your Ten of Cups here. Or somebody's trying to put an end to it. Or for some of you guys, you have to make a decision about whether or not somebody's going to be able to give you this Ten of Cups. For some of you guys, you have to make this decision between two abusive people. You have one that has been here or that's your energy towards this person. That's the King of Wands reverse. All right. So we have that energy coming up. That's the bully with sexual problems who's impotent possibly. So there's some sexual frustration that comes up. I feel like some of you guys are in limbo about this person. I feel like some of you guys need to make a decision about something. You have the power to make a decision about something. Who do I want to collaborate with? You guys go over to these connections here where you feel secure. It's a 10, end of a cycle, smooth sailing, but then you get hit with this Knight of Swords energy. Uh. Okay, let's see. So, uh, the cards are saying here that this is person. I think what this reading is saying that you guys have overcome or were able to have some sort of discernment about this Aries Leo Sagittarius energy, something having to do with the Pisces, this water energy. Some of you guys might be looking for the Ten of Cups with the Pisces and you're trying to make up your, your mind. But I feel like who's getting in the way? Abusive. Abusive person. Some person who's abusive here. And then we have, then we have a bully. So we got the bully. Then we have the chaotic person who's impulsive so you guys might be i don't know if you guys have an option between a bully and somebody who's impulsive a lover boy who runs up and down the street town to town can't find him on the weekends that's because he down over probably two houses down from you let's not lie the next street over in some cases like that's how these these mm. anyway what is uh what's libra thinking about here what is what's the decision here what needs to be made i feel like this is about two different people yep this is a page of wands reverse that comes up you guys are trying to decide whether or not somebody's being superficial or if somebody's just like being superficial overacting putting on an act something about a face and you guys are also wondering who has the most stability here and i think that's a question with the page of wands that comes up reverse for you guys that's the question is somebody stable all right. Some of you guys are questioning somebody's maturity, and I think it's because of their behavior. What else is going on? That's what you guys are in limbo about. Whether or not somebody's putting on theatrics, are they gonna, um, are they gonna overpower me? Am I gonna be distracted with this person? Am I, am I gonna still be able to be productive and have this person in my life because they're so chaotic? Their energy is chaotic. They're a bully. They push me around. Am I gonna be able to have happiness? But I also realize that you guys keep running into the same folk. It's just that one was a straight up bully and then the other one is running from town to town being a bully. So give me more. What else? What else is Libra concerned about? What else are you thinking about here? Mm -hmm. Some of you guys are one again. Am, can I can I be in con, uh, tandem with this person? This is the lovers reverse here. So you guys probably have some sort of a distressed relationship with this person with the lovers. The lovers comes out reverse. It means that you're not in tandem with this person. For some of you guys, this is a breakup. For some of you guys, this is a divorce. Some of you guys are wondering whether or not these people are divorced. Are these people divorced? Some of you guys are dealing with a Gemini. You're wondering if this Gemini is divorced. That could actually be, um, that could be the other air energy coming up. Some of you guys are wondering if there is a Gemini who is divorced. And some of you guys are trying to make a decision about something, a balanced decision here. You have the two of pentacles that comes up. For some of you guys, you are multitasking, making jobs, two different jobs. Some of you guys are working a regular job and then you're moonlighting. But you're also concerned about this lover and what stability they bring to the table. Can this person make me happy? I want the ten of cups, but I have a decision that needs to be made. Give me more. What else? What else is Libra concerned about? Uh... All right. For some of you guys, you're worried about growth in this relationship. If I opt to have a relationship with somebody, right? Is this person going to be in tandem with me? Is there going to be harmony? Is this person going to take responsibility? Some of you guys are dealing with this really immature energy. It could be a Gemini. It could be another Libra. It could be an Aries Leo Sag. Could be a Pisces. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. So that kind of confirms water there. But for the most part, you have fire energy here. You have air. You, you pretty much have everybody with the exception. Earth is not here. Yeah. 
All right. So some of you guys feel like if you go into something or if you make the wrong decision, you fear with the Knight of Swords coming up, you fear somebody's going to be, you know, they're going to keep you stuck. They're going to keep gaslighting you. This person is not going to make you feel wanted again because they're running from town to town. So you guys have this lover boy energy that might try and propose to you or try and give you some offer or something like that. It's an it's an unaccepted off. Oh, it's an offer that you turn down. Oh, okay. So you guys could actually have an Aries Leo Sagittarius that you turn down and they're coming for you. They're coming for you. And then I don't know if you guys get out of that energy and then you have this other one come over. Ooh, Libra. Yeah, somebody's a celebrant. Some of you guys are delaying your celebrations here because there's some tension in the situation with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you guys are dealing with an Aries. We have that energy here. There's some turbulent relationship. I see false celebrations, something that was supposed to be good, like this Ten of Cups over here. It was supposed to be some sort of a celebration. Or you guys had some expectation of a relationship with somebody or some, type of, some sort of a partnership with somebody. And you're wondering, is this person real? Page of Wands reversed. Is this person superficial? Is this an act? Some of you guys are like, is this person serious? Is this person depressed? Some of you guys get bad news. Some of you guys actually find out that there's a Gemini dealing with the Pisces. Or some of you guys find out something because it says some bad news comes in. There's bad news where you find out where somebody is with somebody else. Or you find out that somebody's not as stable as they claim to be, right? Because we also have here, we have the two of wands that comes out reverse. This again, this is Aries confirmation. Again, there's something within Aries where you guys end up not being able to celebrate because somebody misled you about their net worth or how stable they are. This person could be sleeping on somebody's couch. I feel like false heroics you know, somebody could be lying about the reasons why they're they're unstable, or they could be blaming it on the X one and this one, or whatever. Somebody's just trying to control you. More. What else? What else is coming up, please, for Libra? What else is coming up? Hmm. All right. So also, somebody could be trying to stop you here because this is the thing too. When you have the Two of Wands upright, that's typically somebody who's surveying their landscape, meaning how much can I grow? I feel like Libra, you find out that there's an Aries or Gemini who is either stopping you from doing something or moving forward with the Aries, or you get the realization that this Aries or whoever this is can't be my lover, or this Pisces can't be my lover because they're not stable. They're misrepresented. I'm always going to be stuck. I'm never going to have anything. I'm not going to make it to my Ten of Pentacles. And in some cases, some of you guys are dealing with a serious amount of money, right? So inheritances, right? Security, family, prosperity, all right? I feel like for some of you guys, somebody could even be coming to you or towards you because of this. Meaning, this person could be in the two of pentacles and you got 10. So I'm going to need to make my way over there. And I think you guys understand that. And I think that you are noting this in your head as you make this decision. However, you still keep running into the same energy. These play people... These people are here for the wrong reasons. The King of Wine bullies. Oh, you better stay with me. You ain't never going to find. Da -da -da, da -da -da. This person's probably in a legal system. The Emperor reversed. Mm. You, I don't know. You could be the Queen Ace of Wands. All types of. But anyway, I'm going to let y'all go. This has already been long enough. That's it. Take what resonates. Leave the rest behind. I, I do. What? Let me just see something. The hangman here, just out of curiosity. You guys said here that you were in a, an altered state when you made a sacrifice. What was the sacrifice that you made? Some of you guys were in an altered state when you sacrificed a, a Pisces. Somebody sacrificed a Pisces. A Libra, you could have sacrificed a Pisces and you weren't aware of it or conscious of it when you did it because of drugs, hallucinogens, or something else. Uh, what is this? Uh, 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 yep, confirmation. Pisces comes out reversed with the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups means that you guys would typically be abandoning something, walking away from something, retreating and moving on. This is something that you can't let go of. Some of you guys can't let go of some memory or some thought where you sacrificed somebody or you saw somebody being sacrificed. Whatever that means to you. Uh, that's confirmation and y'all saw a Pisces get sacrificed or you know a Pisces got said somebody threw a Pisces under the bus or a Libra straight up a Pisces could have thrown you under the bus right mm -hmm. you were happy <sighs> anything else we need to know one last card anything else 
Yep. All right. So, yep. Because of this, there's some imbalance in a relationship with a cancer. There's a cancer energy that comes up. It could have just caused imbalance in a relationship. It could just be cancer, water, energy, emotions from a relationship that you had to walk away. Something was a false start. You had to withdraw from some situation that made you numb. But please remember, this Pisces was also searching for riches, right? And maybe that's why you're having some reservations about this Pisces or whoever this is. Whoever this energy is, somebody was in it for the bread. You had to walk away from it. And I think you feel bad, but you also realize this person was after you. This person who comes in with the two of pentacles balancing. And of course, they're going of course they're gonna put cologne on every day. Oh, I love you. And they're going, yeah, because they're trying to get your bread. But you soon realize, right? But maybe that wasn't the right thing for you. Or, you know, the interference of this energy here or these people, whoever these are, these people could have also interrupted your personal relationships. Like some of you guys could have had a relationship with a Pisces and maybe it didn't work out. Maybe this is what you wanted with this person. But when you have the interruption of these energies, right? Outside interferences. Sometimes you don't always get what you want until you get rid of these people. But somebody, it looks like maybe you had to, I really just feel like for you guys, you had to probably walk away from a relationship or something that you had an idea of when it comes to love. Because you knew it wasn't going to work. For some of you guys, it was too much folly. Folly, silly stuff, dumb stuff, dumb action, ignorance, stuff like that. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. This is long enough. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Hold up. Like, share, subscribe, please. I love you guys. I will see you in a little bit. I'll see you online. Bye.